Uh, hello and welcome. One Empire here. Today I'm going to do a video of how to update and upgrade your electronic fly swatter. You've probably seen these before. Hopefully you have one so you can do this very same thing. Uh, works really well. Great at uh, reducing the eliminating the fly population within the household uh, and doing so quickly and uh, quite uh, fun at the same time if you're sadistic like me I suppose. I was getting a little too uh, too into it and broke the handle. There's a lot of uh, g-forces required some acceleration that uh, this handle just hasn't hasn't uh, held up to. I mean this thing's a couple years old you know as these batteries will tell you with the expiration date of uh, March of 2016 which is definitely later than this date I'm filming. So, but they did last a long time. They're, they're basically the originals that I put in there. So the D cells do last a long time. The problem with alkaline D cells is that they're heavy, very heavy, and that's gonna lead to a slow swing and uh, making it hard to catch up to those flies and, and get a good whack on them to catch them midair and uh, end their lives. So. I don't know what the weight is on here. I should have brought a scale, but uh, if you've handled these cells, you know that they're not the lightest thing in the world. So, let's put these right here. What's the solution? 18650s. 1.5 volts, 1.5 volts, new, constantly dropping. 3.7 volts. So you're already at a 0.7 volt, which is over 50%. Uh, percent what is that? Uh, what's my... I can't do the math right now. 20% uh, increase in, uh, in voltage and power. So this isn't 6,000 milliamp hours, just so you know, that's, that's a total crock. But the point is, these are very affordable. Probably cheaper than D-cells. And, uh, you know, you get a bunch of these with the charger, and uh, there's a lot of different things you can do with them. So here's what I did. I wrapped the 18650 in this uh, foam type stuff that you get, uh, pretty easy to come by, you know, packing material, and uh, taped it up so it's about the same diameter as a D cell battery, a little bit bigger, you know. And uh, so this is going to be my positive end to go right in here. The other thing I did was I took a socket, I'm not sure what size this is, but it's a quarter inch socket, long, long socket. Um, basically this end just needs to make contact with the spring inside of here. Let's see if I can get that into focus. Way at the bottom there. And uh, the 3 8 socket is a little bit too big. It went right inside there. So a quarter inch socket's what you need. And this happened to be a good length. So just go ahead and stick it in there. Same thing, wrap it so it's, about, it's a nice snug fit. Kind of hear it pop into place there. Grab your 18650, make sure the button, if it has a button, the positive side is going to be facing down. Alright, and there, nice and snug as well. And then go ahead and put your, this part back on. And I've got some tape here, so I'll go ahead and hopefully uh, it'll stay on a little bit better than last time. Alright. I'll put another piece on there later. And uh, there you go. So significant waste, weight savings, uh, 20 plus percent voltage increase um, at 3.7 volts. When these things charge up, the 18650s come off the charger, they're usually about 4 or 4.2 volts. So if you really want to fry them, just keep a fresh battery in there. Now the moment of truth, let's see if this works. The, uh, what's going on here? Something's not right, I think. All right, so I had to m move the uh, the socket around a little bit. I wasn't getting connection like I was before, but uh, if you see now, 
you can even hear it. That little uh, high-pitched squeal if your ears are young enough to pick up on that. Uh, this thing is ready. It's upgraded. It's quick. It doesn't even feel like there's a battery in there. But it's running more volts and uh, it's rechargeable. And give it a try, you know. Most people have these 18650s laying around. Hopefully uh, this little, uh, I don't know, hack is useful. Let me know. Thumbs up, subscribe, uh, comment. Thanks for watching.